In Afghanistan, there is a level below rock bottom. It's where these lifeless, expressionless drug addicts exist, men who lost dignity a long time ago. They've been rounded up and herded into one of the country's biggest drug rehabilitation units in Kabul. These are the other victims of this never-ending war, collateral damage, if you like. People who have lost loved ones, lost jobs, lost hope. And their numbers are growing in Afghanistan every day. The 45-day program at this former military warehouse complex is basic and caters for 900 patients. The treatment consists mainly of keeping the addicts away from drugs, but it can't keep them away from the desire. Most relapse when they leave. We need international help. We are struggling. Drug addiction is everywhere in the world, but unfortunately it's affecting us more. We have double impact. One is the war and the other is that people are jobless. Nauruz turned to drugs eight years ago when he lost his job. He abandoned all hope and his wife and six children. With no job or income, you have no choice but to steal and rob to get drugs. Addicts who have money eventually spend it all on drugs, and when the money is gone, they join us poor under the bridge. We are no use to family, society or country. The bridge is Polisokta in Kabul, where the addicts live in a desolate world. The Afghan government estimates that 3 million people, 10% of the population, is addicted to heroin, 40% of those are women. Opium cultivation is a major source of funding for the Taliban and a major target for the US. An air campaign to destroy crops and production has been intensified. The international community's 16-year battle against drugs in Afghanistan has cost billions of dollars, but poppy growing is flourishing like never before. Last year, there was a 63% growth in land use for cultivation and an 87% increase in opium production, the most in Afghan history. Farmers have turned to poppies because there's more money in them than conventional crops, but the threats from the air are always there. We are worried that foreigners or the Afghan government are going to destroy our fields. The farmers are the ones who face the entire hardship of cultivation, but the smugglers and others are the ones who benefit the most. That is beyond the concern of the addicts under the Polisokta bridge. Their only concern is how to get the next fix. They are indirect victims of this war, but their image will haunt Afghanistan for many years to come. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Kabul.